Hi everyone, this is Sherry and today I'm going to show you how to draw a heart with a cute pink kitty cat. First you're going to draw the heart, so make a vertical line and then you're going to draw one side of the heart and then you're going to draw the other side to help keep it symmetrical. Use short strokes to balance everything out. Mine are kind of fast but you can uh, make slower ones if you need to. And next I'm going to draw the cat's head and then the two paws that are resting on top of the heart. And then I'm going to draw the cat's body. Kind of looks like a, a teardrop shape or a pear. And then I'm going to draw the right leg. Looks like it's just barely touching the ground. And I'm going to make this upside down U shape for between the legs. And then I'm drawing the upper portion of the leg there and then the lower portion. And then for the tail, I'm just doing a sideways S. And then I'm gonna draw the little patch of fur that's on the belly. And next I'm gonna work on the face of the cat. Um, you may have noticed that the circles are overlapping for the paws, and that's just because you wanna make it look like the cat is holding on to the heart. Um, for the face, you can see I've done a little cross section here, and then did the triangle nose where the two lines meet, and a little, um, uh, excuse me, not umbrella, W, I don't know why I said umbrella. And then you're gonna draw the two eyes, and then an ear on each side of the cat's head. And a little line there where the ear opening is. And then I'm just doing some really brief strokes here for the whiskers and doing some little lines for the toes on the paws. Okay, looks good. So now I'm going to outline everything with my medium sized um, drawing pen. And I start, I usually like to start with the top left because I'm right handed. So if you're uh, left handed, it'd probably be easier for you to start on the, um, the right side. And I'm just working my way down, point and pull, point and pull. And this is kind of a small drawing, so that's why um, it's a lot more rapid than usual. I'm not using a Sharpie marker, which usually requires a larger space. So um, if this, again, if this is too fast uh, for you, that's okay. Just um, you can pause it, uh, you can watch it again, and all that. And you'll notice that on the longer pencil strokes or pen strokes here, I'm taking my time. I'm not going too fast because I want to make sure the lines are accurate. Um, remember to breathe. <laughs> if you get really tense, it's going to be harder to get those nice smooth lines. So just relax and go with it. Okay. Now it's time to erase. I've got my stretchy gum eraser, or better known as a kneaded eraser. And I'm going to clear up all those extra pencil lines that I don't need. I'm going to zoom in here so y'all can see a little better. Again, this is a smaller drawing than usual. All right, let's go. And I really like this design because it's, uh, it's really cute. It looks complex, but if you just think of it as shapes, you're just uh, you're putting small shapes together, it, uh, it really it, it moves the work along very quickly. So it looks complex, but it's actually quite simple. Okay, once you're done with your drawing, then you can start coloring. Now, I've chosen pink because I think this would be something kind of fun to do, doing a pink kitty cat. Uh, so I've got this bubblegum color of marker, and I'm starting from the top. Again, I want to make sure, especially with, um, with markers, colored markers, you know, you could rub them up by accident if it's still wet. So I like to start um, on the upper left-hand side and work my way to the right and down. And because this is a smaller space, um, you know, I'm using tiny little circles to color in between the lines. And it's really important when you're outlining your work um, to use a permanent ink marker or pen. If you try to use a, you know, a Crayola marker and you try to color over it with a, another Crayola marker, it's going to bleed and 
your drawing won't look as neat. It'll, it'll get messy and it could mess up the felt tip of your marker and it won't color as pretty again. So be sure to use permanent ink. And you'll see here as I, I've got the larger spaces to color in, I'm much uh, looser, I'm not so tight in coloring in. There we go. Making sure I get all those little white spots filled in. Okay. Next, I'm bringing out my hot pink marker. It's kind of a fuchsia color. And I'm going to start coloring the lines that touch the bubblegum pink, and then I fill that in a bit. So that way, I don't accidentally color over the lines. And it keeps it looking nice and neat. I really like working with this marker because it's so bold and bright. And then I'm going to color in and outline the rest of the cat with this bold pink. This is a good example of repetition. So whenever you're doing artwork, it's good to use repetition. And by repetition, I mean um, you're using a single element over and over again, you're repeating it, repetition. So I've got the pink heart and then I'm taking that same pink and I'm outlining the whole cat and what repetition does, it helps to hold the entire picture together. Um, and it really, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it kind of tightens it up, it just makes it look a little bit more professional, more complete. And just like I was when I was uh, outlining with a pen, I'm going nice and slow and steady, remembering to breathe while outlining with the pink. So there you go, that's how you draw a cute cat with a heart. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and I hope you have just as much fun drawing it as I did. And uh, please be sure to check out on my channel at I Can Has Draw. Y'all have a great day.